as though the job of a social worker is to fill the gaps as much as possible. Uh, usually that means I am providing information and resources uh, that maybe, you know, is a new resource or nobody's really uh, talked to this patient about, you know, the availability before. Sometimes that means I am anticipating potential issues and I'm trying to be on top of it. A good example of that is if I know there's a patient that is really self-conscious about losing their hair, for example, asking their care partner, hey, you might want to get a lint roller and you know if they're if if you notice that there's you know hair um falling you can use that to pick it up before it causes more stress or record before it makes um you know the patient have a little, little bit of a of a freak out because of the amount of hair that's left behind but at the end of the day what i'm trying to do and what i always want to do is give patients and their families the the feeling of of um community. I want them to know at the end of the day, you are not alone. The day you get diagnosed, it changes your life and it changes all of your family's life forever, regardless of, of what the outcome is. Um, and so I want to be as much of a resource to patients and their families as I can. And the way, the best way that I can do that is, you know, forming relationships, asking questions, being there whenever they need, um, or maybe when they don't need me, right? Sometimes I just, you know, Hey, how are you? Uh, and those are usually the times that that I get more information out of them as opposed to when it's like a required uh, visit or call. Um, just letting patients know that that I'm here and I'm doing this because I want to. And I don't. It's not that it's a job. It's it's because it's a passion. Um, you know, sharing evidence based resources, organizations like Patient Empowerment Network. There are so many resources that patients they're so grateful to know or hear from somebody that is just able to give them just a couple tools in their tool belt um, that, you know, they didn't, maybe they forgot about, or, you know, they didn't even know that this resource was available. I do this because I, I want to be able to provide as many um, resources, as much of a relief to patients and their families as I possibly can. And at the end of the day, it's why I do what I do. It's why I'm a social worker. It's why I continue to to work with uh, cancer patients and their families, um, and I will continue doing that for the foreseeable future. Mm -hmm.